Hi everyone. I am up at the church at the moment and I am next to some of the, the donations that are coming in for our Harvest Appeal this year. As we did last year, so some of you may remember this, we have a special can and jar appeal that we're running for Instant Neighbour Food Bank. Now the food bank at Instant Neighbour that they run for the city is a really important thing. I've mentioned it before and we've supported it over the years and that has been a really good thing for so many people who may, for one reason or another, find themselves in a position where just trying to find enough food to eat for the next few days can be really, really hard. So the food bank exists to have some food that is available that can be given out to people that might be in need so they've got enough for themselves or for their families to get keep them going. Now we've got some different foods here. There's tuna, there's tomatoes, there's baked beans, there's even some uh, dog food here for pets as well that might be uh, in need. I've got lots of different things. You have a chance to get involved in the Harvest Can Appeal this year. And if you bring some cans or jars or dried foods along to the school, I'll pick them up and bring them all together here. And uh, we'll collect all of them together and we'll see how many cans and jars we can get to. We're aiming to try and get over 2,000, maybe 2,500 cans and jars, but we definitely need your help in order to be able to do that. So that's one of the practical things we're doing here. And I'd like to talk a little bit about why we're doing that. And for that, we need a wee story. At this time of year, in the, the north part of the world, so above the equator, this is the time when we are usually celebrating harvest. Because it's that time of the year when the farmers in their fields are bringing their harvest in. Now, if we lived in Australia or New Zealand or, or South Africa, somewhere on the other part of the equator, we'd be celebrating it at a very different time of year. But for us, this is the time when we give thanks for the food that we have available to us. When we give thanks for the land that is able to supply so much of the food that we enjoy. Whatever that might be, we have a great variety of foods and some of them are really fun indeed. Now, when we think about giving thanks and we think about the food that we have, it's good to remember that we are all connected to each other. And what do I mean by that? Because we all live in our own homes, we all live in our own houses, and yeah, we might have neighbours next to us, but we don't have doors that kind of go in between our houses. No, it's not that kind of connection. It's more of a like an invisible connection that we are all part of this world together. And it is good for us to remember that we are able to share some of the good things that we have with others. And Harvest Thanksgiving, this time of the year, is a great opportunity to do exactly that, to give thanks for all the good food that we have, that we have available to us, to give thanks for this wonderful world that, that we have that allows all of this variety of foods but also to remember that there may be some of us who don't have as much as others. And that reminds me of a lovely story that comes from the Bible. And it's a story about Jesus and a whole group of other people. And this is one of my favorite stories from when Jesus was alive and he was living around the area around Jerusalem, so quite a long way away from us. But he was around and about, going from town to village to town. And as he was going around, lots of people were listening to him. This is Jesus. Hello! Jesus was a special man, God's son. And while he was on earth, 
he loved to teach everyone about God's love. He helped people, healing them if they were sick. Hello everyone! A huge crowd had followed Jesus. They followed him wherever he went because they saw what he did and they wanted to know more. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and lots of women and children. Turning to Philip, Jesus asked, Hey, Philip, can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip because he already knew what he was going to do. Um, Philip replied, Even if we weren't for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them all. Oh, I've got an idea, said Andrew. There's a young boy here. He's got five loaves and two fish. But what good is that with all this crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. All right, everyone, sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to all the people. There you go. And he did the same with the fish. And they all ate as much as they wanted. You want some more? No, I'm good. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now go and gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. Yeah, sure. So they gathered all the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps. Can you believe it? All from five barley loaves and two fish. Isn't that a great story? I just love it. And the, oh, how that happened, all of that food coming from that wee boy who just gave those five loaves and two fish. I don't know. It's amazing, isn't it? Some people think that the people had some food, a little bit of food that they kept for themselves, but they were kind of looking at other people and thinking, oh, I better keep this to myself. But then when that boy shared his food and, and Jesus saw this gift that the boy was giving, he wanted to make a point to everyone. So look at this wonderful gift. I'm going to share this with all of you. And as that happened, others shared and others shared and others shared until everyone realized, you know what? We've got plenty to share around here, as long as we don't just keep it to ourselves, but rather we give it away to others. That story is a great story for what we're thinking about this harvest, as we think about sharing some of what we have, some of the cans of food that we may have in our cupboards, that we give some of those to help other people, or going to the shops and buying a few extra when we're getting our shopping so that we can donate those to help somebody else. If you and your mums, dads, grannies, granddads, your carers, whoever it is, wants to help get involved with this, then please do and bring along some food for our Harvest Can Appeal this year. It will be really appreciated by many people in Aberdeen. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great week. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>